Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. There are times that everything goes well in our lives. But there are also moments we end up being disappointed by unexpected reality. I think farming is a good example. Farmers do their best for the good harvest, but some years it's just dry and not going well like this year. There is a gap between expectation or hope and reality in our daily living like this. This is how our lives go and we just accept what it is and try to move on. Then how about our Christian life? We try to live like Jesus. We try to be more like Jesus. We try to always have joy, peace, hope, and love in our hearts. But does it work always in your life situations? Are you always joyful, peaceful, hopeful in your daily living? We know we are supposed to be, but sometimes it is difficult honestly to stay hopeful, peaceful, and joyful. Likewise, there is always a gap between expectation and reality in all areas of our lives, including the spiritual life. We are finite human beings. We have weakness and we live with limitations. And here is the good news. Jesus came to us to remove the gap. Jesus came to us to make us live abundantly, confidently, and fruitfully overcoming our weaknesses. We are weak, but Jesus is strong. He is living in us and make our lives abundant. Let us be thankful to Him today. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Jesus is the living Word of God. There are many ways and images that we can use to describe God. There is no single way to explain God completely because God is so big. You may describe God with many images, like a protector, creator, encourager, teacher, parent, company, supporter, and so on and on. And God is described as the light in the Gospel of John. Let us think about the light. The light is essential to people. It generates vitamins and synthesizes those in our body system. We cannot live without light. And the light comes upon everyone. Sunlight is out there and anyone can get up, go outside, and get the light. Likewise, the light is life essential to us and it is given to everyone by God. Isn't this the same to the salvation work of Jesus? Jesus' salvation work is essential to everyone to live. We shouldn't survive without the light. We shouldn't survive without the salvation through Jesus. And the salvation work of Jesus is for everyone. Let us give thanks to God today for providing us life essentials like light, air, water, and most of all, the salvation. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. 
Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. The Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 9 says, The true light came into the world to enlighten everyone. Like this verse says, the light of God enlightens everyone, not just certain groups of people. The gospel, the good news, the salvation work of Jesus is given to everyone. Therefore, Jesus can be described as the light, the light given to everyone. When we are under darkness, like sorrow, frustration, despair, the light of Jesus comes upon us so that darkness has no place in our lives and we can live as the children of light. We are weak, we are finite human beings, but our God is so big, so strong and mighty. His light comes upon us so we can live confidently, abundantly and fruitfully. As you begin this day, please remember you are the children of God. Let us live under the light, therefore, not under darkness. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Let us fill our lives with the light of Jesus. We know Jesus is light. We understand we need to be filled with the light of Jesus. We believe the light of Jesus will help us to overcome darkness. But what does it mean exactly to be filled with the light of Jesus? How can we fill ourselves with the light of God? It's simple and clear. Let us think about the light, the sunlight, we know it is essential to human body. Then what would you do to get the sunlight? You already know how to get the light. You just need to get up, go outside briefly, and expose yourselves under the sun. That's all you need to do. I will not go deeper with biological or medical area like what is the proper way to get the sunlight or how to avoid ultraviolet rays or something like that. But when we need the light, we know where it is and what to do. And now, do you need the light of Jesus? You already know what to do to get the light of God. Find a place to worship, like going to church on Sunday and participate worship. It is very simple and clear. How will you get the sunlight if you just stayed indoor place? How will you get the light of God if you do not find a place to worship God. Let us be filled with the light of God by worshiping Him with whole hearts and minds. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. 
I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. How can we be filled with the light of God? As I shared with you yesterday, we can do so by worshiping God on Sunday. Then how about other days, not just the Sunday? Other than going to church on, to worship on Sunday, you can also get the light of God during weekdays by designating certain time and place to pray. How will you get the light of God without praying? It's impossible. You need to worship at the church and you need to pray at home or wherever you are. Reading the Bible is also the essential way to get the light of God. The book of Psalms says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God is the light and it is the lamp for you. Let us read the Bible. Reading some devotional is great. However, why don't you read the whole Bible as well? Instead of just reading some devotions, how about writing your own devotions after reading the Bible itself? It will be a great as well. Let us expose ourselves to the spiritual activities like worship, prayer, and reading the Bible. Then you will be filled with the light of God. What is the best way to get the sunlight? It is to expose ourselves to the sunlight outside. Nothing is complicated. What is the best way to get the light of Jesus? It is to open ourselves to worship, praying, and reading the Bible. It's simple and clear. Once you are filled with the light of God, darkness will not have a place in your lives. It's not you, but the light of Jesus in you, overcoming challenges and hardships. Let us fill our lives with the light of Jesus. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church.